So we got a question here from my Alchemy coaching program, one of our members. And um, if you would like to join my Alchemy program on shifting your identity, shifting your reality, where we hold you accountable in achieving your dreams and achieving your reality you want, there'll be a link in the description where you can get a free energy reading or manifestation diagnosis session, or you can book yourself straight in for the accountability coaching. So the question here uh, from one of our members is, Dear Gavin, um, I have a question about abundance and the law of attraction. I'm making the intention to attract financial abundance into my life and shift out of scarcity mindset that has been instilled in me since childhood. All right, so I'm just going to reply to the first part here. Um, you're trying to, you, you, want, you want to use your law of attraction. You're going to attract financial abundance, but you say you're trying to shift out of the scarcity mindset and instill in, uh, that's, been, that's been instilled in me since childhood. So number one, you're saying it's a scarcity mindset, right? And number two, you're trying to shift out of a scarcity mindset. Number two, you're saying it's instilled in you since childhood, meaning, you know, this has been with me for a long time, so it's going to be quite hard to change. You know, this is instilled in me for a long time, so it might be a little bit challenging to shift. And um, and also you're, you're saying, you know, it's a scarcity mindset. Someone with an abundant mindset is not even talking about having a scarcity mindset. So that's the first catch here, okay? Next is how, however, um, I've, been, I've been getting stuck, wait, I've been getting kind of stuck and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to ask this question because I've been wanting to, but haven't known how. So thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so my question is, if there's a big purchase, I want to make, but I don't have the current funds for it. Uh, should I just like be, I'm abundant and open up my credit card and make the purchase and trust source will provide for me? Or do I wait until I can afford it? Okay, so I'm gonna reply to that. That's an interesting question. Cause I used to think, you know, back in the day, hey, like, you know, I gotta act as if I have the money now. Okay, but you're spending debt you're putting yourself in debt. So that's a different, that's a different thing. Um, one of the techniques that um, Abraham Hicks talks about is um, you can, you can um, put a certain amount of money in your wallet or your purse and imagine yourself spending it in all these places. I'm abundant and you're spending, you're looking at the shops and all this stuff and you're spending it mentally, you're spending it mentally. You know, you're buying all these things mentally. And that really helped me. I also um, actually bought some fake notes when I, you know, was, you know, a little, a little bit younger in my law of attraction, I bought, I would buy some fake uh, notes and I would put them in my wallet and they were like million dollar notes. And uh, what was interesting is I actually went to a spiritual event and people saw that I had, um, you know, the, the, these notes. I think I was paying for the hotel or something like that. And they saw I had these like million dollar notes. Like, what's that? What's that? And everyone wanted one and they realized like it makes them feel more abundant. And so that's some of the things that I used to do. Lo and behold, a little bit later, um, you know, I had met up with my mentor and, you know, um, you know, I started manifesting $25,000 days, you know, in income and, you know, it really, really changed my life. And so, um, I think we have to be, we have to treat money with respect. Um, we have to, uh, be able to have balance with money and by just, you know, relying on source relying on the universe saying I am abundant, I don't think it's very strategic. You want to be practical and you want to kind of crush that inner child a little bit. And what I mean by that is you can be playful, but there's a side of you that wants to be too playful. Now, if you had come to me and said, hey, I'm going to use this credit card and invest it into something that's going to bring a return on my investment, that's something different. If you're just spending on something when you don't have the money to do it and you got a rent to pay and responsibilities and all that stuff, then you know that's going to be an issue you might lose your couch you might lose your house right and so you're gonna you're gonna be strategic and one of the things that i recommend you uh one of the books i recommend you go read uh is the millionaire mind secrets i think it's called let me just get the book here uh millionaire um mind t -Hav. um t -Hav Eka. Uh, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And just learn how to manage money so that you're able to have fun with it, you know? And so basically what T-Half teaches is to 
put your money in separate accounts. There's a, an account for your bills, there's an account for investing, there's an account for fun, there's an account for long-term savings. There's all these different accounts that you have. And basically, let's say for example, you have $100 in your um, fun account, okay? Basically, the goal is to spend all of that money within the month. Once it's done, you can't have any more fun. You have to work to bring in more money to put into the fun account to have more fun. And so it creates a little bit of a, a, a discipline and more balance with your finances. Does that make sense? So I highly recommend you check out that book and a um, you know, few, few blog posts on the JAR system. It's called the JAR, JAR system, um, T. Harv Eker. All right, so look, let's research the JAR system, T. Harv Eker. There's lots of videos on it on YouTube and there's articles and blog posts on the internet. Highly recommend that you go check that out. You know, you wanna, you wanna treat money uh, with a certain level of respect, just like it's a, a human being in a way, you know, um, and cultivate a, a relationship with it. You know, if you, you're saying that you've been instilled with a, you know, lack mindset, well, you know, there needs to be subconscious patterns here removed, but also building a relationship with, with money. And chances are, you know, what you're feeling is, is an emotional need and something that needs to be fulfilled through the external environment. Like the external world, if I buy this thing, I'm now going to feel good. So usually when that happens, there's a void within, you know, there's something lacking within. All right. And so one of the subconscious patterns that there, there's some sort of love or some sort of thing when you're growing up that was missing, that's making you feel that type of way where you uh, would, would feel that, that way to, to need these big purchases. Does that make sense? Because no material thing can make you feel fulfilled. You know, it might make you happy temporarily, um, but usually uh, it's short term. So I'm just gonna finish, finish off the question here. Um, trust the source will provide for me or wait till I can afford it. I get stuck here. I don't want to be reckless, which is, which is good. You wanna have a balanced mindset um, and you, you, you want to balance the, the, the feminine and the masculine dynamic, right? Um, the logical with the impractical, right? You don't want to be just totally reckless, which I think you're aware of, okay? In fact, if you're, if you're wanting to build your finances, you know, you need to be um, more logical in the beginning. And as your wealth grows, you can be a little bit more, uh, you know, spend a little bit more here, spend a little bit, but you got to get to that balance. Do you know what I mean? Um, uh, but I also don't want to deprive myself of what I'm worthy of. Uh, here's the thing, you got to work to get that stuff, okay? Saying that I'm worthy of this stuff without uh, accumulating the value, okay? Without accumulating the abundance mindset, without accumulating the business, without accumulating the, the work, right? Who, when, when you say, I know what you mean when you say I am worthy, you mean I am the universe, I am everything, all this stuff. But then at the same time, we've got to think, okay, um, am I providing enough value to the world? Am I providing enough value to my job? Am I providing enough value to my career? What do I need to learn? Where, how can I grow my fin finances? Okay, and so, you know, what is the difference between someone who is struggling financially but has all the resources and someone who is doing well financially and has all the resources? You know, this person is doing something wrong. Is this person worthy of it? Not necessarily because this person hasn't learned the mindsets of this person. Okay, so lose the idea that you are worthy of the things because you have to work towards it. I know this is hard to hear, but when I first heard this, I was actually kind of butthurt. It's like, no, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I haven't worked to achieve that. And that's the trap of this whole law of attraction thing. I'm worthy, I'm abundant, woo woo, and I'll just attract it into my life. For me, you, you, wanna, work, you wanna work towards it, you wanna uh, make that business, that success, whatever it is happen and not um, just relying on um, whimsical uh, thinking, in my opinion, um, or tell myself I can't afford it because um, you, don't tell you, you, don't, you wouldn't tell yourself that you can't afford it. You wouldn't tell yourself that you can't afford it. Um, I'm going to get that one day. Um, I can't wait to get that product. You know, that's a good one. I can't wait to get it. So that I can't afford it. I can't wait to get that product. I can't wait to get that purchase. And using all of these things that you want 
as motivation to work on your value that you bring into the world, that you bring into other people's lives, that you bring into your job and all of this stuff. Because as you do that, you will cultivate, cultivate more abundance. So I want to ask you, like, what are you doing to cultivate financial abundance? What are you doing to get out of debt? What are you doing to do all of, all of this stuff? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much answered your question. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Hey, beloved, this clip was taken from the Alchemy Coaching Program, where I keep people accountable in achieving their goals, achieving their dreams, and shifting their reality. If you feel like you need support and you want to transform your life, you want to manifest those desires in money, health, wealth, and abundance, financial freedom, making the business successful, then click the link in the description to get the manifestation accountability coaching consultation. I'm looking forward to welcoming you to the tribe and transforming your life.